Okay, so in this video, we're gonna basically translate this to pseudocode and talk a little bit more about the greediness uh, fitness factor. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is find the highest denomination of currency that is smaller than n. So part of what makes this a, a greedy algorithm is finding the highest denomination and starting there, and then only iterating to smaller solutions once we've already reached the maximum number of those type. That's, that's the greediness of this algorithm. It's biggest ones first. Um, so the heuristic for the algorithm is largest first. Um, okay, so how do we do that? Well, because I am conditionally moving to the next lowest denomination, I'm gonna use a while loop over a for loop. So uh, I'm gonna need i to be zero because I wanna start here. I want to start with the biggest ones, and uh, that's the way they're arranged. I'll also need a change array because um, that's what I need to put uh, change into. That's sort of my hand there uh, that I'm putting change into. Okay, so now while i is less than uh, the length of uh, den, right? Because we're kind of looping over den, and we're trying to pull out however many bills uh, from this list uh, until we get down to the ones. All right, so um, the next thing I need to do is check to see if uh, the denomination at i uh, is greater than n. If it is, then I need to uh, increment i, so i equals uh, or plus equals 1. Uh, the next highest denomination, and then uh, continue. So that we will uh, break out of this iteration of the loop and go on to the next one. Okay, so we find that uh, through that method. Then we append that denomination to the change array. So change dot append then at i, and then we need to change n uh, n minus equals uh, den at all right, and then we already have that if statement. We'll just move on uh, to the next uh, iteration of the loop. At the very end, we'll want to return change. So that's the main solution to that. Um, okay, so now let's print uh, get change uh, of n. So let's try with 314. We'll run that. I'll move my face over here. And uh, it looks like, yeah, it's uh, $3, uh, 10, and then four ones. So that's 314. All right. Now let's change this to a larger number. Uh, let's call it uh, two, $20, $22.25. $20 so we should get um, four tens here and then, or no, sorry, two tens here, and then uh, two one hundreds, and then one twenty-five. Cool. All right. I still got those change skills. <laughs> All right. Uh, now let's change this to 40. Uh, let's run that. It looks like, yep, we've got four tens, two ones, and one twenty-five cent piece. Uh, let's change this to four just to see it. Cool, we get two tens and four ones. All right, so it looks like this is solving the problem um, and it will pass all of our tests. So it looks like we're good to go. Again, the greediness of this is that our decision-making here, as long as the denomination is lower than n or is greater than n, uh, we increment y uh, and then we only, uh, we only continue on uh, if it's uh, larger than n, and otherwise we just keep taking uh, from n that denomination. Uh, so we're starting with the largest first, and we'll never move to a larger uh, algorithm or larger denomination. Uh, that's the thing that makes it greedy. It's optimal for this type of thing because the way that we've defined the best way to give change is the minimum number of coins. If we used another method for best change, as in, um, you know, uh, if I had to give you 30 cents, giving you three dimes instead of one quarter and one nickel, if I decided that that was best because it was maybe more efficient in hand movements, things like that, um, 
then a greedy algorithm wouldn't work and it wouldn't give you the opt optimal solution. We would have to use a different cost method. The thing that makes this greedy is that uh, each time this increment, uh, each time this loop goes through, it's a new sub problem. It's a new finding of the uh, next denomination of change uh, to give, right? And the way that we determine that is uh, move on from the next highest. So the ordering of this, um, the ordering of this array matters. Uh, the fact that we have to use this array is like it's what's available in the um, in the change drawer. Um, we don't have any like number of these, for instance. So uh, you know, there's no other cost there. So this is a a, t a time when greed is good because it it easily lets us find the largest thing to take away from n that that handles it pretty well. All right.